Hello, this is Jane Wright, talking about treating a phenomena that has to do with the penetration of other people's will into our own space. It is really an interesting thing that right now in history, we really need to be a separate self. It's a point in time where that's required. Maybe later on, this sort of blending and merging with others might be much more prevalent than it is, but we will be stronger in our selfhood at that point when that occurs. So what is the will? Well, uh, the will is a part of the soul. And in, in Steiner's terminology, Rudolf Steiner's terminology, he calls it the most dense or opaque part of the soul. It has to do with consciousness, but it also has to do with really deep pre-earthly intentions. And it's the part of us that, you know, it's a little bit easier than in his time to become awake to one's will. But it's still relatively much easier to get a sense of what one feels or what one thinks. But the, the will often comes out in a kind of more crude and a little bit more... Um, and we're not quite human in our will. We're more what we think of as an animal in a way. But so, okay, we each have this will and we, we need to educate our will and work with our will. But when we also have someone else's will, sometimes from birth, you know, we have someone who is very pushy in that department in our organism. We have another person's will penetrating into spaces reserved for us. It actually makes people ill. Uh, when you first experience it, it, it often feels like a, a kind of a nausea. You know, when someone else has put their will in our space. Uh, it reminds you of like what happens when one nation uh, in, a, in, a, in a domination uh, phenomena tries to take over or do a land grab like Russia with Ukraine or uh, whatnot. Uh, but it makes us ill. It makes us have allergic or autoimmune um, problems eventually when other folks' will is in our own. It's, it's quite confusing. We, we need as spiritual beings, we need to know what is us and what is other. We have to be able to figure that out. And so this is a, an aid f for that. Um, yeah. It, it, it's so interesting that oftentimes in relationships we think that we have some kind of uh, right to uh, steer somebody else around or you know have have input into what they do and don't do and you know i've certainly been guilty of that myself but it's not something that is helpful to the health of another person's organism the that will it you know it is not is a dangerous thing when it's present in another person's forces so how does one do that? We'll go over that next. Hi, we're going over right now how to expunge another person's will forces. This is the past, but it also can work in the present from one's organism. So it's a fairly simple treatment. You can you use one hand on the forehead here, and you can either project from here to the pituitary or the pineal. It's good to look at those organs and get an idea of them. They're, they're both right around in here in the middle of the head. And the other hand on the back of the head, and you're aiming to the, what, what you didn't aim to with the front one. So if this is aiming to the pineal, this one is aiming to the, the pituitary. And you, you do both of those things at once, 
Then you use your foot or your knee to imagine the whole body underneath that other uh, sight, and you just hang out in that position. Um, you will feel a kind, might be able to feel a kind of um, therapeutic movement going on. It, it could last a long time if you've had a lot of this uh, in, in your life. Oftentimes people will pick up this kind of material in, in, in meetings with other people. Oftentimes people get a bit imperialistic in their meeting strategies with others, especially if they think you're uh, you know, subservient to them in some way or another. So oftentimes people need to, uh, people who are real permeable particularly, but a lot of people might have to do this on the way, you know, after they're leaving a, a group meeting where somebody's been really pushy. It, um, it's, it's really not helpful. So you know, it might, might take a few minutes after a business meeting and just kind of cleanse that, that penetration of that will. You know, wh why is it you know, further so important? Because you know, our will is largely where our initiative uh, strikes out into the world. You know, what is initiative? Well, it's a, it's a very unique uh, manifestation of our pre-earthly intentions. And so there's nothing could be more important than our own initiative. So, you know, somebody else may have figured out to, how to do, you know, make some machine or do something else. But if we figure it out, then there's something, you know, there's a creative deed that has been done that just is not interchangeable with reading how somebody else did it in a book. So to you know, yeah, incorporate this, you often feel uh, in a certain way very specifically worn when someone else's will has come in and a bit beaten, actually. So good luck with that.